I want to understand why animals behave the way they do. It's like a sickness of scientists. I can't stop to be curious and motivated in finding out new things. It's really like observing animals and finding out why are they doing what we see them doing. It is actually a historic building, although it doesn't look like it. It is the first Department of Animal Behaviour at any university in Germany. It was founded on the 1st of November 1973 and the first chair, Klaus Immelmann, made the department quite famous and hence I believe this is indeed a historic place and this is a wonderful place to work in because of the people who actually work here. We study different facets of animal behavior and um, we use different techniques, for example, machine learning, but also molecular techniques to understand certain aspects of behavior. And of course, in the long run, we hope to understand better what is causing individual differences in behavior, but we are also open to all the new aspects that are hopefully coming in the future. Behavior of animals is quite diverse and that's why the research on this topic is also quite diverse. We work with milligram heavy insects and with sea elephants that almost weigh a ton. And as different as those animals are, are the behaviors we look at. We do have such a variety of model systems. In the lab, we work with zebra finches and other estrilded finches. Outside the university building, they are the birds of prey. So we work with goshawks, buzzards, um, eagle owls. Even further afield, we have long-term field studies on Galapagos sea lions. There is a long-term project on Madagascar on different species of plovers. So I think it's the breadth and variety of model system that really characterizes our approach to animal behavior. For example, in the fire salamander research, where we are actually currently looking at how much are these individuals moving in their habitat, and is there a difference between males and females, is there a difference between different individuals, and in the long run we really hope to understand what is causing these differences. In our department there's over 50 people, so it's a quite big department and in conjunction with Barbara Kaspers and Klaus Reinhold, there's almost 90 people here studying all kinds of aspects of the behavior ecology and evolutionary ecology of a whole range of organisms from insects to mammals and birds. And I think that also makes this department unique, that we have such a kind of big force of people interested in, let's say, the overall realm of animal behavior. Whenever I tell anybody else that we help each other with money, with space, with instruments, they usually have never heard of that. And this is really perfectly done here in this building. So there's many possibilities that people meet, chat, often about science or even work together from different groups and it doesn't matter from which group they are. We have an international team of scientists here that have very different uh, questions and that focus on different animal species as well as different questions. And that is something that is so inspiring um, on a daily routine that I think there is no better place to work with.